Well, the COVID resurgence is, of course, leading more companies to find new and innovative ways to track the spread of the virus. The DNA test company 23andMe, for instance, is utilizing data analytics. Here's what that company's CEO told David Rubenstein at the Bloomberg New Economy Forum. The first thing we realized is that, one, um, we, we weren't going to play a role in testing for all kinds of reasons. We're not set up to do COVID testing. But what we really are set up to do is to do research at scale. 23andMe has the world's largest consented platform of customers who are ready and engaged in research. So what we did on April 6, we decided we were going to put out a COVID-related survey to our customers. And, um, you know, a matter of weeks later, we had a million customers who had taken our COVID survey and we had over 20,000 individuals who said that they had had COVID, thousands who had been hospitalized. And by analyzing that data, we were able to find that there is a genetic, um, you know, there's a genetic type where O blood type uh, looks like it is protective, eight, you know, nine to 18 percent protective uh, from COVID. What about uh, people who are, let's say, uh, African-American? Do they have a higher propensity to get COVID? Did you learn that as well or not? We have seen that. And even when we have looked at, you know, adjusting for other components that, you know, other socio, you know, uh, you know, illnesses or other socioeconomic factors that we do see that there is a higher propensity of likelihood of them being sick. So that's part of the reason why we're continuing to do the genetic studies is because we want to, you know, we want to see what else we could find. And I just just as background for people, um, a lot of people don't realize that a lot of viruses, there are genetic mutations in, in humans that make you either more susceptible or resistant. So, for example, in HIV, there's a mutation called CCR5, where people who have that mutation are essentially immune to getting HIV. And when I look at sort of why certain populations are, are you know, getting sick more or some people, um, you know, die or they seem to be exposed but not get it, it makes me think that there are going to be more genetic findings. So what did you do with this information once you got it? Did you give it to the FDA or give it to uh, CDC? Who did you give it to, if anybody? The most important thing for us to always do with our information is to publish as quickly as possible. And so we, we always put things when we feel like it's really important, we put it in a bio archive. So it means like the publication is out there now so people can go and get access to this information. We also made the information available for any pharma company or any group that is working on this area to contact us and that we would engage in trying to help further um, any kind of research on a vaccine or treatments. We also, there's a number of consortiums that are out there with academics to try and bring all that data together, and we're partnering with all of those as well. So you have a lot of experience in dealing with FDA. Uh, to those um, manufacturers of vaccines, what would you tell them about how to get through the FDA process? I would say the most important thing with the FDA is engagement and communication and, and finding people who have that expertise of um, you know the experience of how to work with them. The thing, the mistakes that we made in the past really had to do with a level of naivete on our behalf of how to communicate effectively with them. And it's one thing that I've learned with the FDA um, is you know when they when they have a vision, when they tell you they want this kind of a certain kind of analysis, there's there's not a lot of negotiation. Like you 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 follow what they are asking for. The CEO of 23andMe, definitely interesting to see how companies are jumping in to help track what they can with the virus. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.